In this episode, we continue work on the Kielsen, doing the second layer. In the last episode, we had glued and assembled the first layer of the Kielsen. It did get installed, but unfortunately, I didn't film any of it, as at that time, I wasn't sure if I was going to continue to create content for YouTube. So this is going to be the first time I try it. I drew my scarf on there and I'm going to take my reciprocating saw and see if I can get quite a bit, not all of it, but quite a bit of it off which will allow me to use my router table, my router jig that I've got set up, but it will make it easier and faster using the router jig. So we'll see what sort of mess I make. Well, that's relatively slow going with the reciprocating saw. Maybe if I had a little bit sharper blade, it might go faster. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my skill saw and pre-cut it and then see where I can get from the, for with the reciprocating saw. So I found the center of the board, set my laser level there to uh, mark it. I guess I could have just drawn a line also, but at 23 inches, it goes through one frame. At 53 inches, it goes through another one. And at 82, it goes through the third one. So right here, it's four and a quarter wide, so that'd be two and an eighth. And one, two, and an eighth on either side. At this next one, it's nine and five eighths. So it's basically gonna flare out at this point there, so. So I'm just here getting ready to clamp this down so that it will conform to the shape of my keels and whenever I take it off to glue it, it will be a little bit easier to get back in place.
and there we go another piece glued down on to my next one so to make sure that my next piece is running straight back off of this piece that I just took the clamps off of I'm using my straight edge I'm setting it here at the edge of the material checking here to make sure that it's in line with it and then I will trace a line going back on this edge and that will give me a place to align my next piece that I'm putting on here too and then that'll allow me to build these two side pieces that I need before I can put my next layer on. So you can see, I got my line here running off of the edge of this. I've got a little bit of cleanup to do from some squeeze out underneath it, and a little bit of sanding to do here. Get this all prepped, but I got a nice straight line to line my next piece up with. And then that's going to allow me to build these two side pieces so that I can fill in on both sides and my joints are going to be offset to increase the strength of this piece. Well, of course, giving it a good weight just to make sure that the epoxy will bond well and there won't be all kinds of dirt in between them.
the ladder kicked out on me. There was a little bit of dust on the floor and it decided to slide out and I managed to catch myself by my armpits to uh, on a piece of strapping. But man, does that hurt a little bit. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment.